Don't be intimidated by the poop. Are you ready to get a fresh diaper? Hey guys, it's Amy from the Harris Homestead and today I want to share with y'all our cloth diapering routine. Now I do have both babies over here playing to my left, so if you hear some background noise it's just them, but I was going to be folding laundry right now, so I figured what better time than to go ahead and film this little cloth diapering routine video. So we actually just washed and hung dry diapers yesterday, so I'll insert some clips on how we do that later, but I do need to fold these now, so I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about what types of cloth diapers we use and have used in the past, as well as how we store them. So here's all the diapers right here. Now my toddler is almost two and he's almost potty trained. He doesn't have very many diapers in here. He really is only wearing diapers when he naps and when we're on a car ride. As far as what types of cloth diapers should you use? Well, we use have used several different kinds. I have several videos on our flat diapers that we used as well as, so this is a flat diaper, as well as the new company that we used from the brand Assembly. So I'll talk a little bit more about those later, but what type of cloth diapers you use is really going to be just be your personal preference. There are all-in-one diapers, which basically means everything is together, the absorbency and the cover all-in-one, or you can have cloth diaper covers that you fill with a flat. I have more extensive videos on all of that, so I'm not going to go really into depth on what types of cloth diapers today. I'm just going to kind of show you our routine. So as I'm folding here, we still use some flats when we run out of our liner inserts, which are these. So you might see me folding some flats here. But basically, cloth diapering just saves so much money. That was kind of the big draw for us of why we wanted to start cloth diapering. And then also, once I started thinking about it, as an adult, I wouldn't want to wear a plasticky, toxic filled. There's so many disposable diapers are filled with toxins these days. I wouldn't want to wear that as my underwear all day long. I'd really prefer an organic, soft cotton underwear. So that is one of the other reasons we wanted to cloth diaper. It's just more comfortable for your children. So back to what type you use, that is totally your preference. We love this brand, Assembly. So today when I start sharing with you more about our routine, you'll see me using these Assembly diapers. I just recently did a review of them, so you can check that video out down below. But um, they're also a lot easier to fold. I really just fold them up. I don't have to fold the corners and the edges of the flat diaper. So while I'm folding, I'll go ahead and show you as I fold, I directly put our cloth diapers into one of these little storage bins. So I have a storage bin for my daughter, which is empty because she's out of her diapers right now. And then a cloth diaper storage bin for my son. Now his is pretty full. Like I said, we don't really use diapers on him as much anymore. He has a variety of underwear in here. But I still keep his on him because I don't want to dig through one big basket to sort which size diaper fits which baby. So as I'm folding, I just lay hers in here neatly so I can easily find her diapers when I need them. So um, storage has been easy. We just have like a joint changing table right outside our bedroom where we store all of our little diaper bins, our wipes, all of that. I also have a DIY wipes video if you want to check that out. You're all about saving money here, especially with diapers. Diaper prices rack up fast. Tanner Jewel, are you okay? I will show you the size difference in the assembly liners. This is a assembly liner for an older baby. This is for a younger baby. It has the weight limits on them. I believe this is a 7 to 17 pound baby. And this is an 18 pound baby to 35 pounds. So my toddler's right under 30 pounds and these still fit him great when he wears them. I'm going to show you a little later how to put one of these diapers on a baby. But right now I'm just getting them folded while the kids are playing. So I told y'all we washed diapers yesterday. We usually wash about two to three times a week every two to three days because I don't have a ton of inserts yet for my daughter. She's three months old and we have strictly only really been using these assembly liners on her. Unless we write out, I do put a flat on her. But we have a cloth diapering wash routine that has worked great for us. If you look on the internet, you're going to find all different information on how to wash cloth diapers. And we just do a cold rinse, which is like a short cycle. It just kind of rinses everything. 
then we do a full wash with a pre-soak and then I do a quick cold rinse in the end. And then as far as detergents, I've used two different types. I've used Branch Basics and I've just recently switched to a company called Country Save. And both of those have worked great washing our diapers. We don't use any special detergents for our cloth diapers. Assembly, the company that I love, has a special detergent. I just have not tried it yet. So if you are using the Assembly brand diapers, you might want to look into, into their detergent. But I just haven't at this point. I do have a coupon code down below that I'll link for you if you want to try any products from the assembly company. And then most of the time, we hang our diapers to dry. Hanging your diapers is really going to extend the life of them. However, when my son was a baby, I really didn't hang diapers that often. Um, we didn't have a clothesline when he was a baby. So the majority of the time, his diapers got put in the dryer. And they held up great. But I do love the assembly diapers. And I really want these to hold up for quite a long time. And because they're not quite as cheap as just buying a little flat diaper like this. Um, but they work so, so much better. I'll talk about that a little bit more when I actually show you how to put these on. But hanging them in the sun just does miracles for stains. You know, anything about a breastfed baby, their poop is quite runny and it sometimes can stain. So a lot of times the stains don't fully come out in the wash. But when I hang these out in the sun for four or five hours, the stains just completely like almost bleach out. It's amazing what the sun will do for your diapers. So if you have a place or a way to hang them out in the sun, I highly suggest hanging your cloth diapers outside in the sun. So my laundry basket is empty. I need to go get my crying baby. I will come back with y'all later and show you how to put a cloth diaper on a baby. So here is our actual diapering station. I'm about to get my daughter changed to put down for her nap. But this is where I keep their diapers. So I keep my son's here, his basket on the left, and hers on the right. And then down here at the bottom, I just keep extra like trash bags for our wipes, extra little liners in case I need a little bit of extra absorbency. And then right here is where I keep all the flats that we use with my son, which we don't really use much anymore because we have almost completely, well, we have completely switched to the assembly brand for my daughter. My son is using assembly most of the time. We just still have some of his old diapers here. So this is our little changing station. We just have it in front of a little mirror outside our bedroom, just so my daughter can look in the mirror when she's changing. So here is our cloth diaper wet bags. We take, we keep this one at the house, and then I have just recently started using this one. We are on the go from assembly. I love it because it is just small and compact, and we can just fit quite a many diapers in here and um, it's just really convenient not to have to carry this big thing around or carry around a separate trash bag for when you're cloth diapering on the go. Hey y'all, so I'm actually visiting my parents today and I just wanted to show y'all how we cloth diaper on the go. I've already shared with you how we do cloth di diapering at home, but a lot of people have concerns on how are they going to cloth diaper when they're out and about. So I'm just going to show you today what we do. So I have our diaper bag. It's definitely not as intimidating as it seems. And then I actually have two children, as you've seen in clips. I have a three, almost four month old and an almost two year old. My two year old is almost out of diapers. And at home, he really doesn't even wear diapers. But when we are out and about, I still bring cloth diapers for him in case we are in the car or in case he's napping. So everything fits perfectly in our diaper bag for just a little day trip. Now, if you were going overnight, you would probably want a larger bag than this to pack all of the cloth diapers. So I have two of these little cloth bags that just come with things that we order. So I have one for my daughter and one for my son. So the reason I like to have two separate ones is so that I don't have to dig around for which size diaper I need for which kid. So in here I have just our cloth diaper inners, the cloth diaper outers, and then as backups I always bring disposable just in case. That's definitely not necessary if you're a cloth diapering family. It just has made things easier for us to have some disposables on hand if we just need to. And I have finally found a really safe disposable diaper that I trust for my baby, baby to wear. So if you are wanting to use disposable at times, especially when you're out and about, I'll link our favorite brand down below. They're completely non-toxic and the best option I found if you are going to use disposables at times. Usually bring one cloth diaper per every two hours we're going to be away from home. So if we're going to be gone for six hours, I bring about three diapers and then maybe an extra. And then like I said, we have disposables. So I just have the inners in here for my son. I have an extra cover. Um, he has a cover on right now, actually. So I brought two covers, two inners. Same thing for my daughter. I brought a few more for her because she is younger still. I have three inners, two covers, 
and it just fits really nicely in here. I just kind of smash it down so that it will fit down in our diaper bag and that's all there is to it. So you may be wondering, once your child soils a diaper and you're out and about, what are you going to do with the wet or dirty diaper? You can't just toss it in the trash like you could a disposable. You can just put everything down in a wet bag and take care of the um, items when you get home. So I love Assembly's little wet bag. I will definitely have a link down below for you to check out Assembly's products, but you can also just get any wet bag. I'll link some more of ours that we have from Amazon, but this is just really convenient. You can put, um, you could have a pocket for wet diapers. You could have a pocket for the poopy diapers, however you prefer. And I just love this one because it's small and convenient. You don't need a huge wet bag when you're out and about just for a day. So that is it. We already have a wet diaper in here now, but I'll just take one and put in our bigger wet bag once we get home but cloth diapering on the go is not as intimidating as it seems we've even cloth diapered for an entire weekend when we were camping one time so don't be intimidated by cloth diapers if you're wondering how are you going to deal with it when you're on the go i just wanted to take this time since i was already visiting my family today to show you what we do and i hope this helps you out if you are looking into cloth diapering with your kids you ready to get a fresh diaper hey my girl to put on an assembly diaper, the ones we absolutely love, you just take the inner liner like this, put it under the baby, and then you really just put it on like a regular diaper. You do have these snaps here. These snaps are what tighten the um, diaper to fit different size babies. So she is four months old, so she's not quite at the center dot. These just let you know these are the center. So I put hers on the second, the outer two dots. So you just want this to be snug, but not tight. So you can see around her leg, it's snug, but not like cutting off circulation. So this is not actually holding everything in. This is just absorbing the pee or the poop. You're actually gonna put this amazing cover on that's also from Assembly. They have just the most ingenious cloth diapering system. So you put this around, and this is what you wanna make sure is more secure and snug around the legs because this is gonna hold in any leaks. So. Same concept, except this diaper has two rows of buttons. So I always do the bottom button first because you want to get it secure around the hips. And you don't have to match the bottom button to the top button. You can, um, if your baby is a little more narrow on the hips, you can tighten the hips a little tighter and leave the belly part a little looser. That is totally, these are totally custom sizable to your baby. So let me get her snapped and then I'll talk about that a little more. So as you can see, it's um, fitted nicely around her legs. There's nothing gonna leak out here. Around her hips, same thing on this side. And if you have any little bit of the white tuck sipping out, you wanna tuck it in. So you can see that this is not tight around her belly, but it's not like, it's not gonna cut off any circulation. And but around her hips, it is secure around her legs so that no accidents slip out. So that is how you put on an assembly diaper. So I just got my daughter up and changed her from her nap. I used the same outer liner that she already had on. I just took off the wet inner and replaced it with a fresh one. So now let's talk about what to do with dirty soiled diapers. This one was just a wet diaper, so all I'm going to do is toss it into our diaper pail, our diaper um, bag. So now let's talk about what to do if it had been a poop diaper. Since she is only four months old and still strictly breastfed, I would have just put the poop diaper directly into that same diaper um, wet bag. You are welcome to rinse it off if you want, but that's just one more step for me. I know it's kind of yucky to put the poop directly into your washing machine, but trust me, it's not gonna mess anything up. We've put tons of breastfed baby poop diapers in our washing machine. However, once your baby is no longer strictly breastfed, whether they're taking formula or whether they've started eating solids, it is no longer water soluble and might start clogging up your washing machine. So what I do, I've had a toddler so we've done this before, I would take the poop diaper, let me make my way into the bathroom with her. So we're in my bathroom, so I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about poop diapers. Um, again, if your baby is strictly breastfed, you don't have to do anything with the poop, you can put it directly in your wet bag and wash it. However, once your baby is starting solids or if they are on formula, you will need to rinse and discard of the poop in the toilet. Now, this is where a lot of parents are intimidated by cloth diapering. They don't want to deal with the poop. My husband was the same way. I'm kind of just like, it's my own child. It's whatever. I definitely don't know if I'd want to deal with other people's poop, babies, poop. But you kind of just get over it as a parent. You touch a lot of nasty things, and poop is kind of just, touching poop just kind of goes out the window at that point. So if this had been a poop diaper, I would have taken our diaper spray shield, 
This thing is amazing. I did not use it for the first like five months of my sun cloth diapering and I wish I had. You will just clip the soiled diaper carefully in here, not to touch the poop. Clip it in here. And then we have a bidet, bidet, however you say it, sprayer attached to our toilet, hooked up to our water line. And you would just hold this over your toilet and spray. The sides of this will keep any poop from splattering across your bathroom. And it's just a lot easier to clean off poop diapers. And then you would take the sides of this and squeeze it out into your toilet. So this little gadget makes cloth diapering with poop diapers a lot easier. I've heard of parents rinsing it off in their sink. I've heard of parents who just take the diaper and dunk and swish in the toilet. That's a little much for me. I've heard of some moms putting them in the washing in the bathtub and rinsing them off but this spray shield has worked great for us and just what we use um it keeps you from having to touch the poop quite as much you may still touch a little here and there but it definitely minimizes the amount of times you will touch poop don't be intimidated by the poop you can handle the poop that's um probably the worst part of it but just know that you can handle it it's your own child's poop you're probably going to touch a lot nastier things in life besides poop so that's how we do um dirty diapers so now that I've showed you our cloth diapering routine and how we store, wash, fold, all of the things about the cloth diapers, I want to share with you a little bit about the brand Assembly, which we absolutely love. Like I said, I've done cloth diapering videos in the past on how we cloth diaper, but since I've had my second child and was cloth diapering two babies for just a short amount of time before my son potty trained, I realized how much simpler using assembly diapers were. So the inner liner and the outer cover just make cloth diapering so easy. Their company is passionate about teaching families to live less disposably, starting with their diapers, and they just make it so easy. I love how easy and convenient their system is with the inner liner and the outer cover, and they have lotions and creams you can use as well. I didn't even show you all that. This is just an everyday balm they have that's just great for skin and lotion and um, keeping their little bottoms soft. And then this is a diaper cream. I have made a lot of my diaper creams in the past. I have a full video on that, but I love if I don't have time to go whip up a batch of diaper cream, I can just rely on this and it's all safe, non-toxic ingredients and just great for my baby's bottom. So if you'd like to check out the assembly brand of diapers, I do have a coupon code and a link that I'll leave down in the description below. Um, I can't say enough good things about their diapers. They have held up wonderfully so far and I just love the convenience of it. My husband was a little bit hesitant on cloth diapering in the beginning when we used to use the flats and he never really liked that method. Same with the, some of the people who kept our children, my mom and my mother-in-law. They absolutely love the assembly cloth diapering system. This inner liner makes diapering so, so simple when this outer cover there's really no leaks we had quite a few leaks with our flat diapers and we did have some issues with absorbency but we've had no issues thus far with the assembly diaper so check out my link in the description if you're interested in trying out assembly for yourself so i hope seeing our cloth diapering routine has been helpful and made it seem less intimidating if you are contemplating cloth diapering with your little one um, we didn't start out as a cloth diapering family we um do use disposables for the um, early newborn stage when the baby still have the meconium, but you definitely can cloth diaper at that point. Um, you just, I don't have a lot of experience at that age. So thank y'all so much for watching this video. I hope this has been helpful to you. Please consider subscribing if you are new and want to learn more about our homesteading adventures. I share a lot of motherhood tips. I share weekly vlogs and just things that are happening around our homestead. Thank y'all so much for watching today. Are you having fun up here? Playing with the diapers and a jewel. Are you having fun with your diaper cream? I love you.